Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 8 of Charlotte's Universe. Charlotte's Universe has been designed by Deidre Ice from a look at what I made and a link to the pattern is in the video description. In part 8 we'll be making this, this band here with the floral, with the popcorn motif, uh, these, these, this band. This is what we're making in part 8. And I'm using Schepje's stonewashed yarn for my blanket. The original is in a different yarn, but uh, I also love this yarn. So I, uh, it's one of my favorite blanket yarns. I'll be taking you through all the rows that make up part 8. I want to thank you for watching. hope it's a useful video for you. Round 76, new color yarn on my hook. And we're going to start in any chain 2 corner space, so these little corners here. I'm going to start with a standing double crochet, so our corner is a double, two doubles, chain two and two doubles. So the first one is a standing double, followed by a second double crochet, chain two, and two more doubles. So one, and Two. There you go. So that's the corner. Two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Now for the straight edge, we're going to work a front post double crochet around this single here. You see that little single is kind of a bit hidden. I'll just zoom in a little bit more, then you'll see it better. So in this single crochet, I'm going to work a front post double. So yarn over from the front around the stitch and you, see, you come out here between in the gap that's for the that's before the pedal and then complete the front post double crochet. We're now going to work around the pedals. In the first treble, so in this first one here, it gets a back loop half double. So yarn over so in the back loop, work a half double, so only the back loop of that stitch. Come to the next stitch and work a single crochet in the back loop. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and, and actually don't work these chain 3 too tight, just give them a little room. We're now going to come to the other side of the pedal, so you're going to skip four trebles, so these four stitches here, you're going to skip these four and also the bico there in the middle. So you've got going to come to the last two here. In the first one, work a back loop single crochet. So a single crochet in the back loop of that stitch. And you can we can already pop this chain space to the back, but you can also do it later, don't worry when, when you do that. And then in the next stitch, a back loop half double. So a single crochet in the back loop and a half double in the back loop. The stitch here in the middle gets again a front post double crochet. So yarn over. And this is actually the start of the next repeat. So a front post double crochet. And we're going to do this until you've done all your pedals. So I'll just show you one pedal again. So this front post double here is actually the start of the repeat again. In the next stitch, half double back loop. Next stitch, single back loop. Chain three. Make make these just a little a little looser than you normally would. Now you're going to come to the other side of the pedal. And on the second last stitch, work a single crochet in the back loop. And I just need a bit more yarn. And in the last stitch, work a half double. The last stitch of the pedal. Again, back loop. So back loop only. And this was the second repeat. Repeat this until you're to the other side, until you've worked all your pedals. So your last stitch will be this half double on your last pedal, so then you'll be the equivalent of, of this stitch. You'll have work that single, in this, on the single crochet you'll have work a front post double, then 
back loop half double, back loop single crochet, the chain three, then the single crochet and the half double both in the back loops and that's the point where I'll see you back. And do remember these front post double crochets here in the middle. Do remember those. Right, continue and I'll see you back at the end. Up to the end of the row, I've just worked this half double here in the last petal and now you have the corner stitches left. Now around the single crochet work a front post double. So this is the single crochet that makes up the corner from the previous round. Front post double. And that completes this edge. In the chain 2 space, 2 doubles, chain 2 and 2 doubles. And then repeat everything 3 more times. And when you're back to your first stitch, you can close on that standing stitch, the standing double, with a slip stitch. And then keep your yarn attached for the next round. Round 77, currently in the first stitch from the previous round with a slip stitch. And we're just going to move to the chain 2 corner space. So that means a slip stitch in the next double and into the chain space. Go to work a corner which is going to be a single crochet, chain 2 and a single crochet. I'm just going to do a chain 1. No, this is, does not count as a stitch, it's just to get you to the correct height. Then a single, chain 2 and another single crochet. And that's the new corner made. On the first five stitches I'm going to work a single crochet, so that's those five there, and this first one here be sure to get that one too. So five singles, so that's one, two, three, four, five, five singles. Then you're to the chain space, and in the chain space we work three singles. So one, two, And this we're going to repeat to the, to the other side. So that means on the next five stitches, so those are these five stitches between the pedals, work a single crochet on each of those. So one, two, three, four, five, five singles. And then you're to the chain space again and work three in there. One, two, three. And continue like this until you have five stitches left. Then you'll be almost to the corner. Then I'll see you back. So five singles and three singles in the chain spaces. Almost to the corner. I'm currently here in the last chain space and then you should have, so I've just worked three single crochets in there, then you should have five stitches left. On each of those work a single, so five more singles. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're at the next corner and this corner gets again a single chain two and a single. And this is the same as the corner you started with. So repeat everything on your next three edges and close on your first single with a slip stitch. Round 78, currently in the single crochet from the previous round with a slip stitch. And again we're just going to move to the chain two corner space with a slip stitch. So this is just the one stitch. Now we're ready to start the round. We're going to work a corner again. So that's a single crochet, chain two and a single. Just again the chain one, which is not a stitch, just for the working height. And then in the corner work a single, 
chain two and a single. So that's the new corner. Then the straight edge. We're going to skip the first stitch and that's um, that stitch there. We're going to skip that stitch and work a single crochet in the next. We're now going to come down and work a front post double around the first stitch from round 76. So that's this first stitch here. So yarn over for the front post double so around that first stitch. And complete the double crochet front post. Skipping a stitch to the back so that's um, that stitch there. We're going to skip that stitch. Then work a single crochet in the next. There. So you're skipping a stitch and then work a single crochet to the back in the next stitch. And this single crochet f lines up with the front post stitch you have here. You see how this to, the single crochet is in the single that's in the front post. So that's just a check for you. Now the repeat that you're going to be doing till you're almost to the other side. Work a front post double around the next front post double from round 76. So that's this one here. So a front post double around that front post. Skipping a stitch again to the back and then so, <coughs> so you're skipping a stitch to the back and then in the next stitch you work a single. And that's the first of seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven single crochets. And you'll notice that your last one falls into the single that's made into the front post stitch here. So again that's a double check for you. And this was the repeat. So this from this front post skipping a stitch and seven singles. Repeat that until you're almost to the other side. So the next repeat would be a front post double around this front post double. Then again skipping a stitch to the back. You see I'm skipping a stitch and then come to the next and this is then the first of seven again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've now done the repeat twice. You need to do quite a few more. And when you're finished, you'll have three stitches left. So repeat this till you're almost to the other side. I've worked the repeat quite a few times. And I've just finished the last repeat here, basically up behind the last pedal. And after you've worked seven single crochets, you should have exactly three stitches left. You can see three stitches left there. Now, to do the to the corner. We're going to start by working a front post double around the front post from two rows down. So around this front post, work another front post double. And then skipping one stitch to the back, work a single. So skipping that stitch, work a single crochet. And then we Last stitch is a front post double around this last double crochet from two rows down. So around that last stitch, a front post double. Now you have one stitch left here, one stitch before the chain two corner space. We're going to skip that last stitch. And then in the corner is a single crochet, chain two, and a single. And that's the same as the corner you started with. So everything we just done, three more times and close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. Round 79. 
We're again in the first single crochet from the previous round and we're just going to slip stitch to the corner stitch to start this round. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the slip stitch to just change colours. And this is um, different from the pattern. The pattern uses the same colour for round 90, for round 79, but I'm just going to change colours. So I'm just going to do this slip stitch with a new colour, but if you're using the same colour, then you use the old colour, of course, not the new one. And now I'm at the same point as the pattern, so I just continue as normal. I'm going to start the corner. The corner is two half doubles, chain two, and two half doubles. Now the first half double is of course chain two. And if you are using a new colour here, you could also start here with a standing half double. That's also, also fine. Then another half double in the same corner space. Chain two and two more half doubles. One and two. And that's your new corner. Two half doubles, chain two and two half doubles. Now to get started on the straight edge, we're going to skip the first stitch and then work three half doubles. So skipping this stitch, then come to the next and work a half double. So that's one two and three. Three half doubles. In the next stitch, which should be here, this second front post stitch, in that stitch we're going to work a popcorn. So that means five doubles. So that's one, two, three, Four and five, then come back to the first one and complete the popcorn. Maybe we've done this before. We continue and work half doubles in the next three stitches. And yeah, there's this one that's one. Two and three. There's a half double in the next three stitches, and especially this first one here, the popcorn kind of falls over it. So be sure to to see that 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 one, this first one. Right now we're going to work a half double, and in the process we're actually going to catch the flower petal, the picot here, the little bubble at the top. If your petals are still to the back of your work, which is possible, just pop them forward. So make sure that your petals are to the front of your work, because you're going to need them in this round. Now we're going to work the half double by inserting our hook through the second chain of, of the chain 3 of the picot and through the next stitch. I'm going to yarn over. So, and the chain the second chain that you're looking for is the one that's at the top. So I'm just going to poke my hook here through the top chain. So, so it's, it's, it's the one that's at the top, the one that's easiest to get to. And then into the next stitch. And then grab your yarn. And ease it a little bit. There we go, through the picot. And then yarn over and complete the stitch. We're going to be doing this to all of the picots. We're going to be joining them in that way. Now the repeat unit that we're going to do is work seven half doubles and then catch the picot. So, and then that you'll repeat to the end. So that's one, two, three, this is number four, and you'll notice that number four will fall here in the front post stitch. So that's just a checkpoint for you. Uh, my yarn is almost finished here, so, so my, as you can see here, I'm just wrestling the last bits. It's just the last few meters always tend to knot. So that was number three, sorry, that was four, so this is five. Six. 
and seven. There we go, seven half doubles. The next stitch we're again going to catch the picot through the um through through the next stitch. We're gonna join that one. So again on the second chain, I'm just gonna insert my hook into the chain stitch and into the next stitch. Grab your yarn, bring it forward through the stitch and the picot, and through the picot, there go, just needs a little help, and then complete the half double as normal. Now, this is the full repeat, um, so I've shown you the picot twice, you're going to do that on all of them. Work seven half doubles and then catch the picot with the next stitch. Continue until you're to the other side, I'll see you back when you've done your last picot stitch. I'm almost to the end of the first edge. I've worked here the last repeat, so seven half doubles, and in with this half double I've caught the picot. At this point you should have seven stitches left to the corner. Now we're going to work a half double on the next three. That's one, two, three. There you go, three half doubles. Your next stitch should be the front post here. This should be your next stitch. And we're going to work a popcorn in there. So that means five doubles. So one, two, two, three, four. Five half double, five doubles, sorry. Then come back to the first stitch, pull through. On the next few stitches, we're going to work a half double. So we've got three stitches left, a half double on those. And this first one, again, can be a little hard to get into because the popcorn is just a little bit in the way. That's so one. The second one here is the front post. Two and the third one here is on your last stitch. Next up is the corner. You're going to work a new corner in there, so that's two half doubles. One, two, chain two, and two more half doubles. One and two. And this is of course the start of the next edge. And do everything we've just done with the half doubles catching the picots and the two popcorns on each edge all the way around and close on your first stitch that was the chain two that we started with. Close on there with a the slip stitch. Round 80. Currently in the starting chain two from the previous round. And we're just going to move to the chain two corner space with two slip stitches. Now the first one is in the half double. And I just need to find the correct yarn tail. There we go. And then slip stitch into the chain two corner space. And I'm again going to use um, a different color. So I'm not going to do it with the color I currently have but with a new color and this is again something that I'm just doing to change colors because in the pattern you use the same color and you continue in the same color. The corner is again going to be two half doubles, chain two and two half doubles. So that's chain two, that's the first half double and then another half double, chain two and two more half doubles. So that's your new corner made. So that first chain two counts as a half double. The straight edge. We're going to skip the first stitch, and that's this little stitch here that's actually falling under the corner. I'm going to skip that stitch and then come to the second stitch. I'm going to work a half double in there. That's a half double. Going to work a front post treble around the first single crochet from round 78. So that's that little single there. Going to work a front post treble around it. So that's twice over. It's a front post treble. And then a 
around the stitch and complete the treble. One, two, and three. There we go. Skipping the stitch behind, so I'm going to skip the the next. So that's the stitch behind. You're going to skip that stitch, and then work a half double in the next. In the next stitch, work a half double. Again, working a front post treble, and but this time around the front post double from two rows down. So twice over again. So here's the front post stitch. Work a front post treble around that stitch. Two, three times taking off two loops. Again, going to skip a stitch to the back and then work nine half doubles. So this here is the stitch we're skipping, and the first stitch you're going to work into here is going to be the popcorn, that little opening there. That's the first stitch, and that's the popcorn. That's one, and then come to the other side of the popcorn. You see here's here's stitch number two, that half double there. So that is two. I'm going to work nine, three, four, five. Number five here falls into the stitch that's in the picot. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And number nine falls in the stitch that's in the front post. So that's your line happening there. We're now going to start the repeat that you'll do till you're almost to the other side. You're going to work a front post treble around the front post from two rows down, skipping a stitch, and then work seven half doubles. So that means twice over. Yes. The front post, work a front post treble. And then skipping one stitch to the back, same so skipping one stitch, they work seven half doubles. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. And this one again falls into the stitch that's in the front post stitch. And repeat. So again, a front post stitch here, a front post treble. Okay, just get you started around the front post from two rows down. There you go. And again, skip, um, work, skip a stitch and work seven half doubles. Continue this until you have five stitches left. I'm almost to the other side. I'm just we're still working the last repeat. And um, in case you're wondering, yes, I do have a different color here than I had at the start of the round because that's halfway through. I decided to change my colors because I just didn't like the way they were looking. So I, I am actually taking this color wise round by round. Um, I just worked here the front post treble. So I'm going to skip a stitch to the back and then work seven more half doubles and then that's the last repeat. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and I'll show you the last two. Here's six is the stitch just before the popcorn. This here is six. And then number seven here is on the popcorn. That that little hole there, that's number seven. And now you've worked the full repeat. And if you just go to the popcorn, just push it the other side, you see you have five stitches left. Now, on these five stitches, I'm going to work a half double on the first two. So the first one here is exactly just after the popcorn. So you're really going to have to push the popcorn to the side. That's one and two. Now we're going to do a front post 
treble, again a treble, around the front post double from two rows down. So twice over, then around that double, work the front post treble. Two and three. Again skipping a stitch to the back, work a half double. So you see skipping one stitch and then in the next stitch work a half double. The last two stitches is a front post treble around this single crochet here from two rows down. So yarn over twice. So you're really sticking your hook like that. And then pick up the yarn and complete the treble. Now this last stitch that you have to the back here, that, that stitch there, you can just skip that stitch and come to the corner, which is going to be two half doubles, so that's one, two, chain two, and two more half doubles, one, and two. There you go. And now you're at the same, this is the same as the corner we started with, so everything done on this edge, do on the next three edges also. And you'll notice that yes, your corners are not symmetric. Don't worry about this, that's correct. Go all the way around and close on the starting chain two that at the beginning of the round, close on there with a slip stitch. Round 81, I'm currently in the first stitch of the previous round with a slip stitch. And we're just going to move to the chain two corner space. That means on the next stitch work a slip stitch and then work a slip stitch in the corner space. I'm just going to use this slip stitch to change colors to my new color but the pattern does not change colors so the pattern just continues with the yarn you already have. Then the corner is going to be two half doubles chain two and two half doubles start with a chain two. This is the first half double and then another half double, chain two and two more half doubles in the same corner space. And two. The repeat on the straight edge. We're going to skip the first stitch. It's that little stitch is kind of falling underneath the corner. We're going to skip that and then start in the second. We're going to start there with a half double. And that's the first of four. So this is one, two, three, and four. So four half doubles. Your next stitch should be the front post treble here, the second of the two front post stitches. Now in that stitch we're going to work a popcorn. So that means five double crochets in the stitch. So one, two, three, four, and four. Open up, come back to the first stitch and close the popcorn. And there we go. In the next five stitches we're going to work a half double. The next stitch immediately here is this one here. Over there, that stitch. Just after the popcorn. That's one. Two, three, four, five. So five half doubles. We're now going to start a little repeat that we're going to work until we're almost to the end. We're going to work a front post treble around the picot here. So you've got the, the, the pedal and there's the picot, so around the picot. So that means twice over for the treble. And around that stitch, so you're basically going to you're just going to scoop up the picot, and then work the 
front post treble. Very. You're going to skip one stitch to the back, skip a stitch, that stitch, then cut to the next, then that's the first half double of seven. So that's one, two, three, four. Number four here will fall in the front post stitch. Five, six, seven. And this is the repeat that you're going to do until you're almost to the end. So again, here your next stitch is a front post treble around the picot. So this is the start of the second repeat. One, two, three. Skip a stitch to the back. See, I'm skipping a stitch, then come to the next. And then this is the first of seven half doubles again. That, I just started the second repeat with you, but work this until you have 11 stitches left. Then you'll be almost to the other side and you'll be almost on your last pedal. When you've done, well, the repeat quite a few times, you'll and you'll stop when you have. 11 stitches left, this is the point where you're at. We're going to work another, our last front post treble around the picot. So twice over, so pedal, work your last front post treble around this stitch on this edge. Skipping one stitch to the back, skip a stitch, Work a half double, and then this is the first of five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Your next stitch should be the front post treble, the first of the two. In this stitch, we're going to work a popcorn. So we start by working. Five doubles, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Open up the stitch, go to your first stitch, and pull through. You have four stitches left, work a half double on each of those. So this is one, two, three, and the last one here. Four. Next up is the corner, and this gets the same corner as the corner we started with. So that's two half doubles, one, Two, chain two, and two half doubles. One, and two. There we go. And then this corner is the same as the one we started with. So everything we just did on this edge, do on your other three also, and close on the chain two that we started with, with a slip stitch. Round 82. I'm currently in the first stitch from round 81 with a slip stitch. And we're just going to move to the chain two corner space to start the round. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next half double. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space. But I'm actually going to use this slip stitch just to change colors again. And if you're using the same color, you of course slip stitch with that color. Now, round 82. I'm going to start with a chain one. Then a, that does not count as a stitch. Then a single crochet, chain two, and a single. So single, chain two, and a single in the corner space. That's your first corner made. For the straight edge, we're going to skip the first stitch. Now that's that little stitch there that's kind of fallen underneath the single and then come to the next and there we're going to work one single crochet one 
and on the next stitch also two we're going to come down to round 80 and for me that's here in the in the dark pink and we're going to work a front post treble around the first half double of the row so I'm going to twice over for the treble then come down and around that first stitch from two rows down work a front post treble Two, three. Skipping a stitch to the back. See how I'm skipping one stitch? Then come to the next and we'll work one single crochet. We're again going to come down to round 80 and work a front post treble around this front post treble from round 80. So again, twice over around the front post, another front post. Again skipping a stitch to the back, skipping one stitch, then the next stitch should be the popcorn, so the popcorn is the first one that we're going to work into, and then that's the first of 11. This is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one more, and also need some yarn. And eleven. There we go. So eleven single crochets. And that first one falls on the popcorn. Now the little repeat that we're going to do sixteen and until the end when you have 16 stitches left. I'm going to start by working a front post treble around the stitch from two rows down. So again twice over. So around the treble from two rows down. Grab your yarn and work the front post. One, two, three. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back. So I'm skipping one stitch. Then work a single. And this is the first of seven. So it's one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven single crochets. And this you're going to repeat well, almost to the end. And you'll have 16 stitches left, so it is quite a stretch still. Um, so a front post treble around this one here, and then skipping a stitch and seven singles. I've worked the repeat and now, until I have 16 stitches left. That means you should now have your last front post treble here. That's the next stitch we're going to work. And then 16 more stitches. That's the point where you're at. We're going to work a front post treble here around the last front post treble from the round. So twice over from two rows down. That's the last one. That's front post treble. Skipping a stitch to the back, there you go, skipping a stitch to the back and then a single crochet in the next and that's the first of 11. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, I need a bit more yarn, seven, Eight. This here is nine on the popcorn. Ten is the stitch after the popcorn, and eleven is the second stitch after the popcorn. So your last stitch here falls in that second half double after the popcorn. A few stitches left. I'm now going to work a front post treble around the front post treble from round eighty. So again, twice over, two rows down, and work the front post treble. Again, going to skip a stitch to the back and then work a single crochet in the next. Skip that stitch and a single. Again, a front post treble, but this time around the last half double of two rows down. So the dark pink here twice over, so around that last 
half double front post and complete the stitch again skipping a stitch to the back you should have one stitch left see that last stitch that gets a single crochet and then you're at the corner which is single crochet chain two and a single crochet everything you've just done on this first edge do on your other three also and close to your first single crochet so not the chain one you can skip that but in the single crochet with a slip stitch round 83 again in the first single crochet from the previous round now the slip stitch to the corner and change colors I'm going to change colors but the pattern does not so again if you're using Deirdre's color placement this slip stitch that you're doing here is in the same color I'm just going to change colors the corner is again a chain one this does not count as a stitch then a single crochet chain two single crochet in the same corner space and that's your new corner made this straight edge we're going to skip the first stitch that's that little half double there we're going to skip that and then work four singles skipping this stitch to the second one two three and four, four singles. Your next stitch should be this front post stitch and we're going to work a popcorn in there. So that means start by working five doubles. So one, two, three, four, Five doubles, come back to the first stitch and close the popcorn. Still a few more stitches to make. I'm going to make a single crochet in the next eight stitches. And this first one is just after the popcorn. You're just going to have to kind of look for that stitch. That's the first thing I can see there. There I made it. It's just it's. it's Popcorn is kind of falling over where you need to be. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight single crochets. We're now going to work a front post treble around the front post treble here from round 81. I'm going to yarn over twice. You're just going to have to come slightly back or slightly behind your work. Grab your yarn. So one, two, three times take off two loops. I'm going to skip the next stitch. See, I'm going to skip that stitch. They work a single crochet in the next two. So that's one and two. And it's this single crochet falls just before the fr next front post stitch. That's just a checkpoint for you. Next stitch should be a front post stitch. We're now going to work a repeat that we're going to do until we're almost to the other side. It's chain one. Going to skip a stitch here that will be this this front post stitch we're going to skip that stitch and then work a single crochet in the next two that's one two single crochets the front post treble around this front post here from round 81 so twice over and then a front post Travel around that stitch. Just skip the next stitch and work a single. Skip the stitch and work a single. 
You're now going to come back and work a front post treble around the same front post stitch. So where we just worked this first front post treble, we're going to work another one. Twice over. Just kind of, so you're going to have to fold your work to come back. And then just, kind of just stack them, the one in front of the other. One, two, three. So you've got two stitches on that one stitch. Again, skip a stitch to the back. So I'm going to skip that stitch and then work two singles. One and two. And this was the repeat. So starting at the chain one up onto those last two singles. This is the repeat. So you're going to now do that again. So single crochet, then you skip this, this front post treble, work two singles, and then this one here. So the one that's on the um, in the pedal. You see these pedals from, from way back? That's the front post that gets the two and the other one is the one that you skip with the chain one. Now repeat this chain one everything until you're well you, until you have 17 stitches left. You'll be well you'll be almost to the other side but you'll have a few more stitches left. I'll see you back then. I've done the repeat quite a few times. You see here's my last repeat. And then you stop when you have 17 stitches left. At this point there's still one pedal and the next stitch here is a front post treble. So this is the point where you're stopping. Now the last few stitches. Chain one. You're going to skip the front post treble here and work a single crochet in the next two. So one. A front post treble here around the last front post from round 81. So twice over, and this stitch gets a front post. One, two, and three. Again, skip a stitch to the back. See, I'm skipping a stitch there, and then work a single crochet. And this is the first of eight. So one, two, three. Your next stitch should be the front post stitch, and we're going to work a popcorn in there. So five double crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, and five doubles. Open up the loop, come back to your first stitch. Pick up your loop and pull through. You've of course done many of these already. Last four stitches, get a single crochet on each. And especially that first one after the popcorn. It's a little tricky maybe. Two, three, and four. And there we go. In the corner, a single chain two. And a single. And then you're at the same point when we were when we started. So everything we just did on this edge, repeat on your other three edges also and close on the single crochet, so not this chain one, the single crochet with a slip stitch. And when you've gone all the way around, you're at the end of part eight. We're not finished with this uh, with this border yet, but we'll continue with that next time in part nine. I hope to see you back then.